Hey guys, Kanye West was coming out of a building and he was swarmed by the paparazzi. And mainly they wanted to know where he stood on what was going on with the cancellation of so many of his uh, businesses, business ventures with various uh, businesses. And so he spoke on it. And uh, he mainly, what I got from this um, brief interview with the paparazzi, he mainly said that he was being blackballed because he stood up for what he believed in. And Monique spoke about the same thing, that she was blackballed by the Hollywood elite, mainly black Hollywood elite like Oprah and um, Tyler Perry, etc. But this is what Kanye had to say. Let's take a listen. Hey, what do you think about Balenciaga dropping you? I ain't lose no money. They never paid me nothing. Basically. You know what I'm saying? True. You're the one that signed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You think Adidas is next? You know what I'm saying? But we go, we go through legal right now, so anything can happen. So Kanye said anything can happen with Adidas because they're going through the legal uh, ramifications, I guess. They're mulling over the deal or mulling over the contract or whatever it is they're mulling over. Kanye said anything can happen. So maybe Adidas is next to drop him. We don't know, but we will see in the coming weeks. Yeah, I think I think people just try to score points. I think people just try to score points, you know what I'm saying? Like Maverick Carter had me go on a show just to say we took him off the show. Then I go on drink champs, then they take it down. The day when I was taken off the Balenciaga site, that was that was one of the most freeing days, you know? You know And I think all of us really have to think about that because everybody's dropping him at the same time. So it's, it's almost orchestrated that it, they had beef with him in the past or maybe they didn't like what he had to say or maybe they didn't like his lifestyle or whatever they had against him. They're using this as an opportunity. Since everybody is jumping on board to drop him, other people are, for instance, having him on the show and then telling him to leave or... He going to a building and being escorted out. It's like everybody's on board. And Kanye is just riding a wave. He said, you know, everything is through God. And he believes he's going to be vindicated in the end. But let's continue to listen. We're about making product that's $20, the best design in the world. And that's the reason why we have brought the head designer from Balenciaga Demna, who's a great designer. That's why I brought him to the Gap in the first place, but they didn't allow that to happen. And that's why I had to get up out of those big corporations so I could get directly to the people. So Kanye said he wanted to sell sneakers at $20, affordable for the average man. And the big corporations were not hearing it. They wanted the two and the three and $400, $100 sneakers so they can put money in their pockets. And Kanye was not about that. So I guess they probably had a lot of arguments in those boardrooms, okay? And now they're using this as an opportunity to get rid of them. Since the other companies are finding fault with, they're saying his speech about Jewish people was anti-Semitic. So they're using that as an excuse to break contracts left, right, and center. But all Kanye have to do is take them to court because they just can't break contracts, but I think what they're doing is not renewing contracts. And they're using that as an excuse not to renew several contracts with him. And I want to talk about the Jewish comment. It's actually proving the exact point that I made. So many actors been bullied behind the scenes. So you even got people like Ari Emanuel asking people to not do business with me. That's how this town has been running for so, so long. So he spoke of this guy, Manuel asking people not to do business with him. That's an orchestrated act to destroy his career because if everybody gets on board and not do business with him, then you can say that's really orchestrated 
for the Hollywood powers that be and all these companies like Gap and Adidas, etc., to really stifle his ability to make money. They'll mute you. They'll try to mute you at all costs. They can't cancel us. We are here to What you say? They can't cancel us. I mean, you, you, you dealt. Tell you why you got us, bro. You stole. Look at that. Even, even, even God's on your side, man. God is on all our side. God is a match. Amen. You know, so even though master controller, we're in remote control. Exactly, we're vessels. Yep, exactly. So y'all, y'all still had a platform. This is the thing. They didn't. They never expected someone to have. The platform. It's not that. Uh, it's not that anyone's afraid. They're afraid of us not being afraid anymore, and we're not afraid anymore. They can't use all the tactics. I'm talking about my life was threatened to have a political opinion. So Kanye said the powers that be used to use intimidation as a tactic to keep people quiet and silence and afraid to speak out against what they were doing. Just really bullying, you know, put you in your little box, put you in your little place, and you're going to shut your mouth and not say nothing, even if you see what they're doing is wrong, like selling sneakers at a premium for two, three hundred dollars, when those same sneakers can be sold at twenty dollars for the average person to have a decent pair of celebrity sneakers for a reasonable amount. But that's just one example. But I get what Kanye is saying, that he is speaking out because he cannot be silenced. And nobody is going to intimidate him or bully him or threaten him. And no matter what they do, he's going to speak his mind. Who likes it or not? You understand what I'm saying? To wear the wrong color hat is what they told me. Or it's wrong thing. Right, or you know, the audacity as, as me, the audacity of me as a black man to have a White Lives Matter t-shirt. I've seen white people wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts. And I absolutely agree with that particular statement that he said that he has a right to wear whatever t-shirt he wants. White people wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts. So why can't he wear a White Lives Matter t-shirt. But I think he was missing the point. That was not the point. The point was that it was an issue with young black men and women being gunned down indiscriminately across America. And nobody really was speaking out. Nobody was saying anything. And so when Black Lives Matter started... All they were saying was, all lives matter, and black lives matter also because of the way black people were being treated as if our lives did not matter. That's all they were saying. But this is a little sidebar. It's funny, whenever black people speak out for their rights, everybody gets offended. Why is that? And we're the ones that are being treated so badly throughout history. History documents it. And so uh, when Kanye made his statement, he made it seem as though Black Lives Matter were saying that white lives did not matter, which was totally false. He was pitting one against the next, but that's not what it was about. Again... When Black Lives Matter started, all they were saying was, we understand that everybody's lives matter, but black people are being treated as if our lives do not matter. And so this group is here to speak out and say, and our lives matter too. That's all they were saying. And so the way I think Kanye put it, he made it seems as though black lives matter were saying that white lives did not matter and that is not what they were saying and so that's why there was such a outcry from all the black celebrities against Kanye but he didn't get it but absolutely I do agree with that statement when he said you have a right to wear whatever t-shirt if you want to wear a white lives matter t-shirt you can do so because white people uh, wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts all the time. But that, like I said, that was not the issue. The issue was 
black people were being gone down indiscriminately like if our lives did not matter and so there was a group that came about and says our lives do matter also are we going to name our group black lives matter and fight for the right of black people that's all so that's some audacity right it seems pretty one-sided if you really think about it so we just lean into it every day i know god has a plan for us we, we fighting that in flesh and blood. This is a spiritual warfare at this point. So Kanye feels as though he's being persecuted. Well, I think part of that is of his own doing, though, because when you come out in the news media almost every day and you make it all kinds of statements and some of it makes sense and some of it is incoherent and some of it is questionable and some of, you know, and it's just statements upon statements. Some of it is not rational. And when your mental psyche hangs in the balance constantly with people calling you bipolar and crazy and all kinds of things, and you're out there showing your ass to prove them right sometimes, then in these boardrooms with these big executives, they're going to question your sanity and they're going to wait for that one excuse to drop you. And that's pretty much what happened when he came out and he made the statement about Jewish people a couple of days ago. That was their excuse to start dropping him from their companies. So Kanye spoke his mind and, you know, he have a lot of love from the paparazzi. This year, he's gone through a lot of losses, so I do hope that mentally he's going to be all right, because sometimes when the cards come tumbling down one after the next, sometimes it just takes that one little card to break the fragile mind. I'm not calling his mind fragile. I'm just saying sometimes it takes that one little straw to break the camel's back. YouTubers, drop your comments in the comments section. Tell me what you think about Kanye's interview with the paparazzi and some of the things he said. I'm over now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for watching.